Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? Russ here from Porky's Corner. The biggest gob in sport. What can we talk about today, yeah? What can we talk about that's really funny and entertaining? We're we not talking about Steffi Bull wearing women's clothes, are we? Are we Steffi? We'll save that one for another day because when that one comes out, that's going to go viral. Pop, pop, bang. Right. Daniel Dubois. Big stiff. 26 year old, week after he fights Usyk. Against Usyk, 36 year old. In Poland, 26th of August. What do I think of that fight? Well, in my opinion, I think that Usyk is Mozart and he's about legacy and the real deal. So I believe that Usyk wants the road to undisputed like he did in the cruiserweight division when he cleaned up, just like he did in amateurs when he cleaned up, European, Worlds, Olympic, golds all the way through. I think he's beat everybody bar an handful of amateurs, hasn't he? Rematched the ones he lost. With 335 wins as an amateur, 15 losses. But was it, was it four or five that he couldn't rematch because of politics? The guy's Mozart. He's cleaned up at heavyweight and set one belt. He's only had four fights at heavyweight. Chaz Witherspoon. Derek War Chisora. Joshua twice. He's got five belts at heavyweight, unified. The guy's Mozart. And he's going in with Daniel Dubois, who's just had a life and death with some awful Southpaw cruiserweight, Laroni, whatever, he dropped him three times and he managed to get him out there. But you look at that, and then you look at the fact that. They brought Don Charles on board and Big Malk. Are they going to add to his game or what? I don't know. It's a bit raw in the bar. But well, they're not going to knock an opportunity like this back, are they? To fight for all the belts except one. I mean, technically, the bar's two fights from being the undisputed champ. Any really? But I don't see that happening. I see the bar. Being stopped, people are saying, Oh, second points, so I don't want to stop him. Look, if Usek can't do a similar job on him to what that other guy's just done to him, he's not worth a carrot as well, is he? Is he just going to practice his art? Or we're going to see Usek putting people to kip it every way because we've seen everything else, haven't we? But we, want to see, we don't want to see a May with a job, do we? Bore feast, we want to see some people upside down, I want to see some legs in there. That's what I want to see. I want to see people go ah! and it all goes quiet, doesn't it? I want to see that. I want to see like a Frotch Groves in the first like few minutes of Frotch Groves when Frotch got dropped and I were one of them people like that. <laughs> I want to see something like that. Except when it's the guy that I'm cheering that's doing the knocking out. <laughs> Not the guy I'm cheering for that's getting flattened in the first round. That's what I want to see. I don't think Dubois got the skill set to be able to mix with him. Brick Top knows that, but the fact that he's got him in this fight is is it's now a miracle, isn't it? Really, that he's got him in this fight, considering who he's really been in with. He's actually going in with a guy that's got five out of the six belts. Have you in heavyweight boxing? There's only six belts that mean anything. Usyk has got five of them. Five. Fury's got one. And Jabbar's fighting him. So Bricktop, a.k.a. Frank Warren, is it mixed really, isn't he? And he's got Joyce kind of mixed with Zang. Joyce has got to do Zang. Then probably do him again to get into the mix for like a Wilder Joshua White kind of thing to get into the mix for the belt. It's all a bit messed up, isn't it? Or is Joyce going to park his son up with with that sanctioning body, WBO is it? But ain't Chris Billum Smith going to park his set up into that position? 
and say it's mandatory because it's cruiserweight champ. It's all a bit messed up in it, really. But do I see Joyce winning the world title or Dubar? No. I mean, if you can count Dubar's WBA regular belt, he's already a world champion. But if you don't count that, he in. Can he win a world title? No, I don't think he can with his current crop. Dubois, no. Joyce, no, I don't think they win world titles. There's a lot worse fighters than them had world titles, though, isn't there? Uh, Charlie Martin, he's a, he's been a world champion. And James Bond, Christian Smith, Frank Bruno. Oh, I mean, Frank's from Britain, isn't he? We all love him and that, but let's have it right. Frank Bruno were a world champion. I know, yeah. It's the sport of boxing. And we can go on forever about the people who have had belts. You know, Mike Weaver, John Tate. Look at that generate People and Thomas, Tony Tubbs. What would they be now today? They'd be like your Dylan White type of guys, wouldn't they? Although maybe maybe a bit better. Maybe Joshua level, aren't they? Joshua's probably on their level. They're the lost generation from 80s, in my opinion. I don't think Joshua's much better than them. What would Tim Witherspoon have done to him? What would Pinkland, Pinkland Thomas have done to him in that job? We, we, we hammer them from 80s because they want a dominant guy, were they, apart from Larry Holmes but, and Mike Tyson. They were dominant in the 80s. But after Ali went, that first few years, it was a bit dicey, wasn't it? And what would Ron Lyle do to Dylan White today or Anthony Joshua? Would Ron Lyle tear him a new arsehole? Yeah, I think he would. He won a world champion, Ron Lyle, but do this lot here. Andy Shavers weren't a world champion. He would ice this lot today. Ice them. So what do I think to it being in Poland? I don't care. I mean, this is how I look at it. We've got a heavyweight champion of the world with five belts fighting in Poland against a very, very limited, limited British fighter, very limited. It was best wins. Who? Oh. See what's 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 his best win? He's famous for losing to Joe Joyce, isn't he? Dubar, what's his best win? I don't see him. I don't know, he's kind of like there by default, isn't he? Isn't he really? Who was his best win? Richard Latte. Who is it? Daniel Dubois, big stiff, doesn't say much. Mumble, jumble, jumble. If you get out of him, it's, I don't know, imagine being on a stuck on an aeroplane in five hours. So, big stiff, not appealing to me. Does anybody even know he's fighting? I don't know. I don't care. Well, I watch it. Yeah, because I'm an Usyk fan. I hope Usyk punches him upside down. Is that bad going, up, going against the Brit? No. I hope he punches him upside down. Dubois shouldn't even be in the same arena as Usyk, never mind the same ring. Just because he's Brick Top's fighter and he's been dining out on the fact that Joshua is sparring. And David Price did. McCauley did. And? Well, what does that mean? It mean Jack Squat, does it? People are getting carried away yet again. This kid's going to be took to meat market. He'll be tucked to meat market against Usyk. Yeah, you've got one of your fighters in mixed, Frank Warren, a.k.a. Bricktop, but come on, let's have it right. Hmm. Let's have it right. The geezer's not worth a carrot, is he, really? He's not worth a carrot. Joyce is not worth a carrot. We've seen what Zhang's done to him, but we've got rematches, haven't we? It's rematch. Rematches, isn't it? Recycled rubbish, isn't it? Recycle rubbish, what's good for goose is good for gander. Bricktop cries about it when it's heady hills, but as soon as he gets in a position, he does the same thing. So they're not telling us all. They're not telling us anything or educating us with anything that we don't know, are they? All right. So I see Daniel Dubois getting punched upside down and school and knocked about and miles on clock against Usyk. I don't see him getting anywhere near him. See him getting beaten up. That's what I see. But you've got to have a throw, have a throw at dice. There's two, there's two in the ring. If Dubois can spoil it and they can get to points, anything's possible in boxing. Is it once them judges are on them shows? Get ready. 
But no, I don't see it happening. I see Usyk stopping the bar, bashing him up, and then pulling him out on store. That's what I see. All right, boxing's a tough sport, and I'm not here to make mates. I've got enough mates in my life. All right. In fact, I need a lot of them at my phone. There's too many people got my number. Too many people have my number, and I don't. And I've never met them. How bad's that? We're getting. We'll be dealing with that shortly. But the bar losers against Usyk, same as Joyce losers against Zang. Tough at the top, in it. Peace out.